Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be our first Nerd Attic system build and today we have chosen the Spectrum Next. Now the reason that we've chosen the Spectrum Next to do the first one is there's a lot of confusion over it. So first of all, this is a crowdfunding system. It It's never been available in shops, I don't think it ever will to be fair. And um, There's been two successful Kickstarters. The first Kickstarter actually got the machines in people's hands at the beginning of 2020. The second Kickstarter, which also sold out, is expected around about August time. Now, as it stands at the minute, there's rumours going around that there might be a Kickstarter 3. But when you think about the Kickstarter 1, there was only 3,500 machines roughly made. I think there's going to be about 5,000 in this Kickstarter 2. That's not a lot of machines worldwide. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of people want these machines now. They've seen the pictures, they've seen what it can do, and they're like, right, where can I just go and buy one? Well, unfortunately, you can't. <laughs> so, all's not lost, though. There's ways around it. So, option one. Let's all cross the fingers and hope there's another Kickstarter. Now, myself, I only come into this recently because I didn't even know about Kickstarter 1 and 2. In turn, I had a friend of mine who asked us to build him a system, which we'll get to later on. Now, building the system, I fell in love with it, so I want one as well, so... I went to eBay and had a little dig around and the prices are astronomical and um, the last one I saw up for was over a thousand pounds I don't know if it's sold for that or not but the going rate seems to be about 500 600 pounds for the machine so that's option one let's all pray for a Kickstarter 3 now option two is a cheap option which is just use it emulated via your PC it's um it's an option personally not for me i like to have actual tactile physical something to use so option two is no good for me but there is a free emulator that you can download from the spectrum next web page which you can get up and running and pretty much use it as a spectrum on your pc and option three is come from a company that's offering a hundred percent clone board of the original next board now, some people might be put off with this. Oh, no, it's a clone. It's based on the new next board, the 2E. And it's also fixed a few problems. And it's actually added things like the memory. So it's not a bad little piece of kit. The downside with the third option is that, unfortunately, the next team have not made available the keyboard and case. So you're not going to get the gorgeous case and the way it looks. But there's options and we'll go through that in a second. Now option one was the original idea behind the next. The board is designed to be the same size and fit as a Spectrum and then a Spectrum Plus. So this board can shoehorn straight into a normal Spectrum and a Spectrum Plus. Now the only downside of this is you do have to alter the cases. So if you have a non-working Spectrum or a non-working Spectrum Plus, all you need to do is literally take a bit of a hacksaw to it, I know that sounds dangerous, but bear with us, and make holes for the extra ports that are on the next board. Two, you can buy from certain retailers Spectrum 8K clone keyboards and cases that have already been cut to shape for the next boards. Now, this is great if you don't want to take a hacksaw to a board or you haven't got a broken machine or whatever. But at the end of the day, for me, it'll look just like a Spectrum 40K. So it'll not really look like a Next. So for me, that option is not what I want. Now, the brilliant thing about the Spectrum Next for me personally is, is the programming side of it. As we all know, if you had an original Spectrum, that original rubber keyboard is not the best thing to be typing on. So the next anywhere connects to a PS2 keyboard. Now, as you look around and you see on the forums and stuff like that, you'll see a lot of people with a next using a PS2 keyboard with it. And this connects via the different connection side the next. Now the picture above shows you inside an original Spectrum next. And as you can see, all the sockets are there, the little diagram there explain what all the stuff does, what the chips do, etc, etc, etc. Now, not being able to type on rubber keys, I thought, well, what's the point of having a, a unit sitting there with a keyboard? 
So then I started looking around of what could I use as a case if I didn't want to have it as a sort of normal spectrum. Now, I'll go into this in a second and show you my bill and also give you some ideas of what other people are doing. So just to sum up, we've tried to get a Spectrum next, but can't get a hold of one because Kickstarter 1 and 2 have come and gone. We don't want to butcher original hardware, especially if it's all still working. And we certainly don't want to go down the route of buying a repro case, which looks like an original Spectrum 40AK. So where does this leave with? Right, so the guy who's done the end goal board, um, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. <laughs> well, I will go on. Then. Manuel Fernandez Higuaras, I think. Sorry, Manuel, if I got that wrong. But basically, this guy's spent a lot of time and effort doing the end goal board. And what he's also doing as well is trying to give some people some options. So he, uh, he does a very basic acrylic case. I think it's £12. It's just basically two sheets of plastic. But what he's also doing is as well, he's he's designed a new keyboard, which he's etching on all of the original Spectrum logos and key parts. You'll see in a second, I'm going to put a video up there showing you how it's done. And he's also done a full acrylic case to go with the keyboard. Now, it's see-through at the minute, but he has stated that it will come in different colours. At first, probably black will be the other option. Now... It's not, it's not as nice looking as a Spectrum Next, but it does the job. So that there's an option there to get you up and run. The other option is the option that I took, um, and I went through basically like this. I don't need to have access to the next board, so if it was just in a box, it doesn't matter. It's going to connect to my monitor. It's going to connect to a keyboard and a mouse, and I'm going to use it like a traditional. PC. Now that got me thinking. Now I'm lucky. I've I work on a lot of computers and vintage retro stuff, and I have a lot of stuff lying around in my loft. And when I go to the back of the nerd attic and see what I can find, I found some Atari um, Mega Files. And an Atari Mega File was basically a hard drive for an Atari ST, and it was made in the same case as the. Mega Atari ST. Um, now I've got two of these which are completely dead, they're absolutely useless, they're, they'll never work again. So I thought well what I'll do is I'll use one of these to um, put the next in. So my build of the next literally started with me putting in the next board into this case. So this will be the main drive, the main system case of the Spectrum Next. Now, keyboard wise, as you can see above, this is Manuel's system where he's laser etching the, the proper keys onto a keyboard that the Spectrum has. So, as you can see there, the first one that came up was Z, and then Z, you've got all the commands that are on there as well. So, in the future, I hope to get one of these keyboards and sort of make a keyboard for my next but until then I'm just gonna have to do with a normal PS2 keyboard the downside of that is when you're programming sometimes you have to use some of the keyboard shortcuts and because it's not on there and the layout's slightly different you have to keep a little piece of card next to you well I do anyway so I can see what like you know alt thingy such and such to get to that particular command that I need which does slow down process a little bit having this keyboard that manuel's developing is going to be a bit of a godsend for me so hoping to get that as soon as he releases it now the last time i looked at the update he was hoping to have that out sometime in february early march so and that's 2021 by the way if you're watching this later so hopefully this and the acrylic case that he's making should be out very very soon and he has promised that it will be reasonably priced and considering that the actual NGO board is only £100 without VAT um, that's, that's, a, that's some deal <laughs> it really is some deal I paid £3.50 for a PS2 keyboard and I'm using an old case so other than buying some cables which I'll go into in a minute this hasn't cost me a lot of money to build now, 
the acrylic case I'll put that video on at the end of this so you can see it's while I'm just chantering on my build came to a little bit of a halt because once I put the board in the in the case the case was much bigger than the board so I was like right how do I get my connections so I had to go out and buy some cables so I have extension cables from the USB to the back of the case and um, then I had to think about power supply and because I've got so much junk in the house well let's put it spawn man's junk is my goal to be honest um, I went raking around the attic and I found an old guitar pedal power supply cord now I put that inside with the case and I'll show you a picture in a minute when I go through it and I'll explain how I've got it all working. So, because I wanted to have a power supply that independently powered the LED key lights on the case, which you'll see soon. And I also wanted, if I ever needed extras power for whatever else I want to put in there. Um, and make sure that also that the, the next gets enough power with having the accelerator pie on there. Um, and this this was perfect. It, it's it's designed to power a pedal board um, and have various nine volt outs um, going off to I think it's some stupid like twenty pedals or something. Uh, but it, it's got a lot of connectors on it. It's a bit overkill for what I really needed, but I wanted it all in the case, have an internal power supply. So I literally just plug a cable in. Um, I hit a bit of a stumbling block. So I still have to use an external power supply. Um, but you'll see when I show you the case. The idea is to actually put a kettle cable in there in the future. Um, I'm also, as I'm finishing off here, I'm 95% finished on it. But at the minute I just have a, a cable running through a hole at the back to the audio input. And I haven't decided how I'm going to do that in the future. But I've got the joystick extensions put in as well, so all the joystick ports that I've built onto the front of the machine work perfectly, um, and I'm really, really happy with the build. Now, like I say, a lot of people mightn't want to do that. They just want to buy the next, and, and what I'm hoping is this, that this case I've done here, my build, is temporary, and I've built it so I can literally unscrew it with four screws and the whole board comes out, because I am hoping that somebody will get in touch with the next team or the next team themselves will do it where they will get on board with them and hopefully get a way of producing the case and the keyboard because I think there's a big market for this because if you could do even if you did it in a different colour let's say white so you know all the black ones were original necks and all the white ones are basically end goal motherboards inside the cases that would be great um, when you get the end goal the only thing you really need to upgrade I'll quickly go over that because the kickstart the machines came accelerated or unaccelerated and basically the difference is when they were first developing the machine the didn't think it would have as, as much power as it did so the originally developed so that the Pi Zero would be connecting as an accelerator card at the minute, all that really does is allow you to use TZX extension files, I think it's called. And as you can see above, that's the actual the NGO case that Manuel has literally developed um, as an alternative to respect them case. Which I personally think looks much better than just putting the board in a ZX Spectrum 48K or plus case. Um, I think when that's all black it'll look a million dollars but like I say you could do this as a picture above shows you could literally just jam it straight into a 40 case spectrum case there's a couple of ribbons you just have to connect and that's pretty much it you're done and dusted uh, it's not a you know you don't have to be any sort of whiz with any sort of hardware you can just literally do it yourself um, as you can see from the front of this picture you can see where you've had hacksaw the where the joystick uh, connectors would go and also on the left side where the access to the SD card and a couple of the switches are you have to make a little few inc incisions there just to be able to fit it in but everything else slots in where it should um, uh, some people as well have literally 
which is not a bad shout to be honest, if I can find one I might do it myself, is they managed to get some clone spectrums from Europe. Um, and obviously the case, the cases were bigger and they've also got like proper tactile keys on. So as you can see with this guy, he's basically bought that and he's going to stick the end go in there and the finished product, um, I think you'll agree, looks uh, quite good. Um, as you can see, even on there, he's still using a PS2 keyboard, by the way, but never mind. Um, it's, it's definitely something as an option. So you've got quite a few options with these boards and what to do. It's time for us to have a look at what I've done. <laughs> so my next um, NGO board came. Um, I had to do a little bit of rejiggery around because when it did come, I put the joypad connectors on the wrong side so I had to move them over to where I needed them to be. So as I was saying before I got a, a mega file case which is basically there it is. It's a big lump of plastic. Um, I then decided that probably the best thing to do was spray it which it wasn't in this uh, temperature that we're having in the UK at the minute so I sprayed it black and matched it with me £3.50 PS2 keyboard that I got off eBay. Um, and I was really happy with the way it looked. Um, I also wanted it to include that power supply. So as you can see, I used a lot of hot snot there, as we call it in the in the game, to literally put everything in the case. So it looks a bit like Spaghetti Junction, but I wanted LEDs working and I, I wanted everything connected. Um, I need to tidy all this up. It's not finished. Uh, everything's just there as it is at the minute. But the finished product, I think, looks pretty cool. Um, I'm happy with it. Um, I decided there's a bit of a spectrum thing to put the LEDs on the right hand side. So got it all booted, everything's hunky dory and working. Now one of the things a lot of people don't realise about the next is with the FPGA, it can use different cores. So as you can see there I've installed a few cores on mine just to test it. And um, literally it boots up straight away into a full BBC master and it's absolutely flawless, it works 100%. Uh, it even allows you to access the um, SD card that you have in a BBC, which I had in one of my S um, BBCs upstairs. And you can just literally play all the classic games. It's <laughs> it's it's brilliant. And you can do all the rest of the stuff on there. You can play Atari 2600 games and everything, arcade games. And all I can say is the, the next is a fantastic little piece of kit. Um, if you want one, you have several options which I hope I've covered and I haven't waffled on too much. Um, but let's all keep our fingers crossed as a Kickstarter 3 for all them guys who haven't got one. And my big prayer is that they do to release a version of the keyboard and case for the people with the end goes because I think that would be the perfect solution. Um, but thank you for watching this and like I say I hope I haven't waffled on too much and I hope it helps anybody who's wanting to look into getting the next. Um, but please like and subscribe and tickle the bell and you'll find out when all the new stuff comes out.